Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You have many advanced criteria that you can create in the criteria range to filter your selected table. In this lesson, we will review some of the advanced criteria techniques that you can apply to the criteria entered into the criteria range when creating an advanced filter. First, it should be mentioned that when you use a comparison operator, the values must be preceded by the equal sign. However, this causes Excel to evaluate the entry that follows the equal sign as if it were a formula. This can cause unexpected results when using comparison operators with text and number fields. Therefore, you should enter the comparison criteria in the following general format equals, double quote, equals entry, and double quote, where equals entry is the comparison operator and associated text or value by which you wish to filter the field. Many times when filtering data, you wish to see records where a field's value is equal to a value entered into the criteria range. In these cases, you would enter equals, double quote, equals entry, and double quote as the criteria. However, there are many other comparison criteria that you can use for text and number fields. You can use the following comparison operators when creating complex criteria. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and less than symbol followed by the greater than symbol, which means does not equal. So, for example, entering the criteria expression of equals, double quote, thus than, greater than, north, end double quote, underneath a region field in the criteria range, would filter the table to show all records where the region field did not equal north. Also note that you can use wildcard characters to search for unknown values. You can use the asterisk to represent multiple unknown characters, and you can use the question mark to represent a single unknown character. To use a wildcard character, just decide under which text field you want to place the criteria and in which criteria row. Then simply use the wildcard characters in conjunction with the known values to search for matching records. For example, if you had a last name column within which you wanted to display anyone whose last name started with a J, you could enter equals double quote equals J asterisk and double quote underneath the last name column as a wildcard criteria. It is also possible to create a criteria that matches the first few characters in the field's values and returns any matching values. This is akin to setting a criteria that looks for fields that begin with. In this case, you do not enter any comparison operator into the criteria, but rather only enter the first characters for which you want to find matches. For example, entering car as a criteria underneath a last name field would return last names that begin with the word car like Carson or Carlisle. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.